In this video, I'm going to be describing the uh, initial foundation protocols that you can use to really start to build a, a strong foundation for the recall command or teaching your dog to uh, come to you when you call them. And the first step is what I'm going to show you right now is that we want to be practicing in an environment that is not very distracting to the dog. So I would recommend starting off by practicing in your living room or in a garage. Definitely not going out into your yard or out in public initially. So what I have here, um, I've got some treats cut up in my pocket and I typically recommend using pretty high value uh, food rewards for the recall. Often I will use something that's um, more appealing to the dog, uh, such as hot dogs, cheese, boiled chicken, liver treats, um, and then I may be using kibble for things like sit or stay inside the home. So what I have, I've got some food in my pocket and I'm just letting um, this dog roam around in the room here. And what I'm going to be doing is periodically I'm going to just be calling the dog to me feeding and letting them go back to doing whatever they were doing beforehand. Now you may notice when you first put some treats in your pocket, your dog stands right next to you and that's fine. Just ignore them. At some point they're going to learn that you're not feeding them and they will start to just kind of wander around. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So that right now the, uh, the Labrador is over by the camera. Um, I'm gonna call him and I'm going to reward him. All right, he's moving out now. So watch how this goes. Russ, come! Good boy, what a good dog. That was good. Good boy. Yes, very good. Good puppy. Um, also start to praise the dog as soon as they come to me. So now I fed and now I'm going to just go back to ignoring. You may notice that your dog hangs around for a little bit. That's fine. Just ignore them. Let them go back to doing whatever they were doing beforehand. Um, after maybe five minutes, uh, then you're going to call your dog back to you again. You want to teach them to learn to pick out that recall cue. And I'm using Rust Com. Sometimes I will drop the name and just use the word Com. Com! Good boy! What a good dog! Good dog! Good! Good boy! Good! And then I will also um, sometimes feed just one treat, sometimes I feed two or three. I kind of um, keep the dog guessing on how many uh, treats they're going to get for this. And then I ignore again. Russ, come! Good boy! Good dog! Good. Good. Okay, pretty simple first step, but really important. So the dog's learning that when they hear the word come, something good is going to happen. And they also learn that after they get rewarded, they get to go back to doing whatever they were doing beforehand. All right, and that's really important too. A lot of times we call our dogs and to end play or do something that the dog, that's unwanted from the dog's perspective. Okay, so that's the first step. And now let's move on. Okay, now, now the next step is I'm going to take a toy and I'm going to toss it. Um, a lot of puppies, especially uh, retrievers, are very um, object obsessive, right? So they love picking up things and what happens is we often find ourselves uh, taking objects away and it really ruins our recall because the dog becomes in, gets into this mindset of thinking every time they have an object that we are going to take that from them which then starts to create a keep away. So what I want you to do is practice tossing out some toys for your dogs uh, and then practice calling them to you. Russ, come! Good boy, what a good dog, good. If they bring it to you, that's fine. If they leave the toy alone, that's fine too. We just wanna get the dog in the habit of learning when they have something that we're gonna call them to us and we're not always gonna be taking that object away from them. Russ, come! Good boy! Good! Good! Alright, that's also why I, um, I praise when I'm first starting the beginner level. Could you, did you see that he did not respond immediately and then I started to add some praise and that kind of helped encourage him to come over to me. Russ, come! Good boy! Good dog! Good! Good! Good. Okay. So that's the next step and what I want you to start doing with your dog. And then let's go ahead and move on to the third step. Once your dog is doing well inside the home, responding to the recall cue, it's time to take it outside. And it's really important in the initial stages that we want to be able to ensure that if we call our dogs that we are 
able to get them to come to us. And so for that reason, I have attached here a 30 foot long leash to Russ here. If you don't have a long leash, you can attach just a light piece of rope, but you wanna make sure that you have something that if your dog does not respond, you can pull it to get them moving towards you. I'm gonna demonstrate just a, a couple um, repetitions and show you how this works. So I've got some treats cut up in my pocket here and I'm just going to kind of move around a little bit and then randomly I'm going to call him with Russ come. I'm going to reward him and then I'm gonna let him go back to doing whatever he was was doing beforehand right now it looks like he's chewing on a stick okay so let's go ahead and get moving Russ come good boy good dog good I'm gonna feed good 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 okay so a couple things when I called him and he spun and toward me, I immediately started to praise him. So it's really important that as soon as the dog looks at you, you're gonna start praising. And I'll often kind of get down and move back a little bit to give the dog some body language that lets them know that I want them to come to me. Once he got to me, I rewarded him multiple times. All right, so I also wanna change up the amount of reward I give the dog and I'll also change up the type of reward. So that time I gave him four, the next time I may give him two, the next time I may give him six. So I just want to kind of keep him guessing at this stage.